IRS2 is a visual prosthesis um, for retinitis pigmentosa and it is placed uh, in the eye of a patient and stimulate the remaining nerve cells uh, and uh, with this technique the patient, a blind patient, can have um, some visual perception. IRS2 is uh, uh, currently in a clinical trial, it's tested in a clinical trial all over Europe. So we have uh, sites in France, in, in the UK, in Germany and now also in, in Barcelona. And uh, uh, the goal of the study is uh, to test uh, the safety and the performance of uh, the IRS2 device. In relation to the IRIS-1 uh, implant that is um, already tested in clinical trials, this uh, implant has 150 electrodes and uh, also uh, has an uh, event-based camera. It works uh, similar to a natural retina. Our eyes always detect motion uh, and this camera does the same. Compared to other devices, uh, um, uh, the and the iris implant is uh, relatively small, as has um, um, uh, is designed to be explantable. Um, this might be very important in case of other therapies will be available in the future. Next generation of um, retinal implants from Pixium, um, we'll call Prima. This is a completely new approach. The implants will be much smaller, and they will be implanted subretinally have more electrodes, so the resolution uh, might be much better. The implantation uh, uh, will be done uh, much quicker and uh, we also think that uh, the indication will be much larger. So we think about uh, uh, to provide the implant also for age-related macular degeneration in the future.